Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to create a purchase order within QuickBooks Online. To create a purchase order, you'll click on plus new in the upper left hand corner. Under the vendors column, you'll come down to purchase order. Let's pick a vendor. Uh, let's pick Adobe. Uh, okay, so I've got Adobe. I don't have an email. I'm not going to email this to them. This is just for my records. I do not need a mailing address for Adobe. I don't need a ship to, it's an electronic product. I'm issuing my purchase order as of today, not tracking any of this other stuff. I do want to pick a category and not an item. Um, so let's see here, the category, call it software and apps because why not? Um, the purchase order, I'm going to issue it for $50 and then I'm going to save and close. So fantastic, that's a purchase order. Since I've got you, let me just show you how to convert your purchase order into a bill. So I'm going to go to expenses on the left and then down to vendors. I'm going to find my vendor. I realize that I can see it, but if I couldn't see it, this is faster than scrolling. I'll select Adobe. I will find my purchase order, which is right here. I'll click on my purchase order. In the upper right hand corner, I'll say copy to bill. And it magically pulls everything from my purchase order over. If I added to things after I issued the purchase order, I could just add a second line or I could update the first line. Whatever makes the most sense for you for your workflow. And I say save and close. If you're at all curious, I'll take you back to the purchase order so you can see it in the upper left hand corner and now says closed. Hopefully this has been helpful. Purchase orders aren't terribly common when I work with really small businesses, but they are something that you might find interesting and you might find value in knowing how to do. Thank you so much for watching. If we can be of service, please don't hesitate to let us know. You can find us at gentlefrog.com. Thank you.